This just in. I got buffed in update 1.2. Why don't you jump off another building, buddy? See how that goes. <laughs> uppercut. Uppercut. Sonic Boom! Update 1.2 brought a lot of new things to the game, most notably runic power, uh, different game modes, that kind of thing. But the thing that I really loved was hidden right at the bottom of the update, and that was the changes to the M24 and Car 98K, the two world drop bolt action sniper rifles, hopefully one day soon to be joined by the Mosin and the Garn. The update said that these guns were buffed damage-wise, and that's true to a certain extent. I'm going to break down for you the exact numbers, why this is important, the changes this means for you as a player, where they are in the game, and why PUBG Mobile keeps buffing these weapons, and they do. Now, the important part of the update was the increased damage of the Car 98K and the M24. They changed some of the reload and the time between the bolt. And look, the important thing is I went and looked at lots and lots of previous footage, uh, and I've got a lot of sniper rifle footage. And the amount of time you get to fire on the reload with these guns is just so, so minor. Uh, it's far more about craft, method, and technique when you're playing bolt-action sniper rifles. It's all about the peak, the changing of your angles, hitting headshots, and more so than ever, that's going to be super important. Now, to know why all this is going on, we need to talk about, and we will, the role the sniper rifle plays in PUBG Mobile in this game, in this current meta. But firstly, let's look at the numbers. And these are important too. The top lines are the ones that were the previous numbers, 101.4 and 96.2 as base damage. Bottom line, we've got 109.1 and 102.6. The two big things to look at here is that the car 98K will now clear a target with a chest shot. The M24 will now clear a target with a level one vest that is only at 75% health. And that's an important number because 75% is how much a first aid will heal you for. And that means that the M24 just picked up another clearing shot. Now, these are the numbers for the guns as they stand right now in terms of headshots. And even though I think there has been a slight reduction in damage to headshots, it's not important. Why would a damage reduction be not important? Well, the only effect it would have would be the damage you do to level three helmets, uh, level three helmet wearing players. You still clear anyone wearing a level one helmet or a level two helmet with a car 98K and an M24. Now let's talk about their place in the meta and why this is so interesting. PUBG Mobile keeps buffing these guns. There has been two major updates to bolt action sniper rifles. And this is now an update that is just bringing the M24 and the Car 98K up a little bit to maybe be a little closer to the AWM. But the truth of the matter is that that little engagement you just saw there is the norm, uh, where the other guys are firing full auto and you are firing as a sniper. And that's important because bolt actions are trying to be made. They're trying to make bolt actions more popular. They're appealing to the masses and saying, hey, maybe you shouldn't just be spraying ARs. Maybe the game has more diversity and more interesting gameplay available to you if you just put down the gyro and started tap, tap, tapping away with the long bombs. And I find that very interesting because there's no reason these guns get buffed if they're not trying to attract people to use these weapons more often or at least trying to make them more competitive. And I also think that we're seeing a little bit of a overcorrection. These guns are perfectly fine, as is, before being buffed because the majority of the people using them are just bad at sniper rifles. A lot of the reason for that is that people run phones and phones are far better for running gyro where you can laser recoil like controlling massive gyro numbers on a phone and using an m416 is crazy the the recoil control you have is phenomenal and yet the sniper side of things not so much because if you're running a, a recoil 
oriented setup, you're not really running a whole lot of M24 or Car 98K. Some of the best players in the world never touch a bolt-action sniper rifle because it just doesn't suit their play style. So a lot of the people you see playing with bolt-action sniper rifles are just doing it wrong and not very good at it, or they don't have a device that's very good at handling the bolt-action sniper rifle lifestyle. So we get this overcorrection where PUBG Mobile is trying to make these bolt actions way more popular and more appealing to the player base at large. And it's not really necessary. The people that use bolt actions already love them. And the guys that don't use bolt actions don't use bolt actions more for the fact that they're just not really suited to their play style. So for me, this is fantastic. This is, I mean, this is the actual engagement that I'm talking about right here. That guy over there is an M416 firing guy and I'm a, a tap firing multi player. And I just find it phenomenal that more people don't understand there is such a huge advantage to being able to clear a person in a single shot. To the point where I, I have friends that just won't take an AWM because they know they're no good at it. They know that the AWM is completely wasted on them because they don't have the setup for it and they don't play a whole lot of bolt action sniper. So they just can't hit those shots because it is really an art form. You have to do a lot of this to get good at it, to get your technique and your tap down to the point where everything's set up for bolts and that's what you do for fun. So what does this really mean for the way the, the game's going to be played? I think it means that we could see people start shifting towards bolt actions more, but I don't think it means we're going to see a whole lot of movement from the top end of the player base. People who already use M416s and Orgs and DP28s to spray with are not about to drop them and start running around because there's a couple of points more damage out of the bolt action sniper rifles. There's really only a couple of scenarios where it's gonna make a huge difference. One is on a hot drop where they don't have a vest or the other one is where they've got a level one vest. Level two and level one helmets have always been fair game and will remain fair game. So there's, there's not a whole lot to say about that. Personally, I'm stoked. More damage is better damage for someone that just runs these things 24-7. Someone that never stops running bolt actions. Like, I will push crates constantly just to get AWMs because AWMs, for me, are absolutely game-changing weapons. And the idea that this is going to bring more people in and maybe balance these guns up is a noble one. But if it didn't happen last time and they buffed bolt actions out the wazoo uh, previously to the point where the AWM is now just so incredibly powerful and yet it's not really changed the way the game is played. I'm the only person here running a bolt action rifle. Everyone else out of the duos left is just look at them all. They're not they're not trying to take shots. That's why I can stand there forever while they try and bait shots out of me because I don't have to worry about getting hit by a bolt action back. None of them None of them are running these weapons. They're all running M416s and spraying. And that's great for me. And it's not so good for them. Because I just got buffed. And they didn't. And these things will now clear a level 2 helmet. A level 3 helmet in 2 shots. Now, that's pretty phenomenal. Like a Car 98K will clear a level 3 helmet in 2 shots. That's such an advantage. If you can get headshots on players. You just come up with this massive benefit uh, and particularly if you're like me and you're running with Ouija who also uses bolt action sniper rifles we clear helmets all the time double tapping uh, I mean that guy's got a level 2 helmet nothing's going to change here this guy's got a level 3 helmet nothing's going to change here the same thing is going to happen that guy goes down and that guy doesn't I mean it really is very much great for me not so great for all the other people I'm Pushka. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Thank you so much for uh, sharing the content. If you could leave a thumbs up, that'd be lovely. Uh, if you can just be nice to each other, there's enough crazy stuff going on out in the world there without everyone adding to it. Um, my girl gets home from quarantine, uh, hopefully uh, Monday. So I'm really, really pumped. I've got some videos put out there for you guys, but I probably won't be around. When school holidays is over, I'll start doing more live streams. But either way, just thank you so much for your support and your continued uh, patronage of the channel. And uh, as always, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield.
Bye for now.